That is true. We do know the past year there's been a big change with Barnum and Bailey's here, and uh, we can tell you that definitely when it comes to the elephants, you will not see them. They phase them out of the show, so it'll be a little bit different. And I know that we've had a lot going on nationally in terms of the headlines that have happened uh, across the country the past year. So you know what we want to do? We want to bring a smile to everyone's face, not only this morning, but throughout the entire weekend. So let's have some fun with our families here. The circus will be at the Thomas and Mack Center. It started yesterday on Thursday, going through on Sunday. So let me introduce you now live to Julia, one of the circus clowns here. You've been doing this here for three years. Now let's also talk about when it comes to Ringling Bros and Barnum and Bailey's. How exactly can everyone come out and see you guys? And I guess some just tips on exactly the families who have never been to the circus before. Oh, absolutely. We can totally cover that. Mm -hmm. So. Every show, if you have a ticket, you can come in an hour beforehand, ah. and we have our all-access pre-show. So you get to come down onto the floor, like where we are now, mm -hmm. and we have all the performers where you can take pictures and see acts that won't be in the show. Plus, you can get autographs and just talk to us. Right. It's really cool. It's a wonderful experience. And you get to try on cool costumes that have been in the show previously. It's really, really fun. I can imagine so, especially for the kids here. So for the local families that are watching this morning that are a little bit on the fence, what do you want to say to them? Please come and see us. It would be <laughs> wonderful to see you. And honestly, we have so much going on. We just want to show everybody. Right. Now, what does it take to be a circus clown? Well, it's definitely a lot harder than it looks like it would be because uh -huh. What we do as clowns is we kind of tie the whole circus together and we're also that bit of relatable piece of the circus. Right. Like you go, you kind of come from home and you don't say, oh man, I've totally walked on a high wire before or <laughs> oh, I've totally been shot out of a cannon. But you can say, oh, I fell down or I told a joke and I made people laugh. Right. So we're just, we're that piece that interacts with the rest of you guys. Right. And we well, love being that well, for you. I agree. Very, very talented. And we're going to be out here all morning long. So coming up next hour, I can tease to this. We will be with some acrobats. And once again, all morning long, right here on News 3, also switching over to Wake Up with the CW as well. So Kim and Dana, as I'm setting it back on over to you, I'm going to go to clown school in just a bit, but we'll see you in a little while. <laughs> Channel 3 sometimes can feel a little bit like it, I'll, I'll be honest, but no, this is professional clown school. <laughs> mm. <laughs> 